Cheng Yu, simplified Chinese, Sheng Yu traditional Chinese, Sheng Yu pinyin, Shegyu, literally, set phrases, are a type of traditional Chinese idiomatic expression, most of which consist of four characters. Cheng Yu were widely used in classical Chinese and are still common in vernacular Chinese writing and in the spoken language today. According to the most stringent definition, there are about 5,000 Chengyu in the Chinese language, though some dictionaries list over 20,000. Chengyu are considered the collected wisdom of the Chinese culture. Through the insights learned from Chengyu, you'll discover the experiences, moral concepts, or admonishments from the older generations of Chinese. Nowadays, Chengyu still plays an important role in Chinese conversations and education. It is therefore important to know some common Chengyu as you learn the language, they are often referred to as Chinese idioms or four-character idioms, however, they are not the only idioms in Chinese. Background Chengyu are mostly derived from ancient literature. The meaning of a Chengyu usually surpasses the sum of the meanings carried by the four characters, as Chengyu are often intimately linked with the myth, story or historical fact from which they were derived. As such, Chengyu do not follow the usual grammatical structure and syntax of the modern Chinese spoken language, and are instead highly compact and synthetic. Chengyu in isolation are often unintelligible without explanation, and when students in China learn Chengyu in school as part of the classical curriculum, they also need to study the context from which the Chengyu was born. Often the four characters reflect the moral behind the story rather than the story itself. For example, the phrase Break the walks, sink the boats. Po Fu Shane Zhou Po Fu Shane Zhou is based on a historical account where the general Shang Yu ordered his troops to destroy all cooking utensils and boats after crossing a river into the enemy's territory. He won the battle because of this. No retreat. Strategy. Similar phrases are known in the West, such as burning bridges or crossing the Rubicon. This particular idiom cannot be used in a losing scenario because the story behind it does not describe a failure. Another example is Gua Tian Li Sha, Gaishan Lixia, lit. Melon Field, Beneath the Plums. It is an idiom that has a deeper meaning that implies suspicious situations. It is derived from an excerpt from a Han era poem, Le Fu Shi Jun Zi Xing Yufu Shi. Jun Zi Xing. The poem includes the lines, Don't adjust your shoes in a melon field and don't tidy your hat under the plum trees. Gua Tian Bu Na Lu Li Sha Bu Zheng Guan Gaishan Bu Na Lu Li Sha Bu Zheng Guan, admonishing the reader to avoid situations where, however innocent, he might be suspected of doing wrong. The literal meaning of the idiom is impossible to understand without the background knowledge of the origin of the phrase. However, some idioms such as Wind from an empty cave. Kong Zai Lai Feng Kong Zai Lai Feng, viz. Hot air. And. Barefaced facing the emperor. Su Mian Chao Tian Su Mian Chao Tian, viz. Without makeup. Are so widely misunderstood that their literal meanings have overtaken their original ones. Wind from an empty cave. Is now currently mistakenly used to describe rumors without source when the actual meaning is the opposite. It used to describe rumors with actual, solid sources or reasons. Bare faced facing the emperor is now misused to describe beauty that doesn. T require makeup, e.g., when entering court. Its original meaning is to be confident in one's true look. However, that is not to say that all Chengyu are born of an often told fable. Indeed, Chengyu which are free of metaphorical nuances pervade amidst the otherwise contextually driven aspect of written vernacular Chinese. An example of this is speaking, yet without trust. Yan Er Wu Xin, Yan Er Wu Xin, referring to an individual who cannot be trusted despite what he says, an essentially deceitful person. The idiom itself is not derived from a specific occurrence from which a moral may be explicitly drawn, instead, it is succinct in its original meaning and would likely be intelligible to an individual learned in formal written Chinese. Its archaic nature is only betrayed by the now unusual use of the character yan, yan as a verb. Some Chinese idioms have English equivalents. For example, bing shan yi jiao and the tip of the iceberg. Share both their literal and idiomatic meanings, while yan bu yu zhang and 
to speak with one's tongue in one's cheek. Share idiomatic meanings. Chinese idioms can also serve as a guide through Chinese culture. Cheng Yu teach about motifs that were previously common in Chinese literature and culture. For example, idioms with nature motifs, e.g., mountains, shan water, shui, and the moon, yu are numerous. Works considered masterpieces of Chinese literature, such as the four great classical novels, serve as the source for many idioms, which in turn condense and retell the story. Classification Subject predicate idiom Tang Lang Bu Chan Interrelated idiom Qing Tu Yi He Chinese examples The following three examples show that the meaning of the idiom can be totally different by only changing one character. Yi Yi, Ri Ri, Qian Qian, Chu Chu. One day, a thousand autumns. Meaning implies rapid changes. One day equals a thousand years. Yi Yi, Ri Ri, Qian Qian, Li Li. One day, a thousand miles. Meaning implies rapid progress, traveling a thousand miles in a day. Yi Yi, Ri Ri, San San, Chu Chu, one day, three autumns. Meaning, greatly missing someone, one day feels as long as three years. More examples Four Gentlemen of the Year Four Treasures of the Study Three Friends of Winter Three Men Make a Tiger Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon Seek Truth from Facts when two tigers fight. Japanese examples Yojijukugo is the similar format in Japanese. The term Yojijukugo, CZ Shu Yu four character idiom, is autological. Many of these idioms were adopted from their Chinese counterparts and have the same or similar meaning as in Chinese. The term Koji Sego, Gu Shi Sheng Yu historical idiom, refers to an idiom that comes from a specific text as the source. As such, the overwhelming majority of Koji Sego comes from accounts of history written in classical Chinese. Although a great many of the Japanese four character idioms are derived from the Chinese, many others are purely Japanese in origin. Some examples Wa Niao Feng Yu Ka, Cho, Fu, Getsu. Flower, bird, wind, moon. Beauties of nature. Ichi yi wei ichi go ichi. Once in a lifetime experience. Bang mu ba mu okame hachimoku. A bystander's vantage point. Shou chi an wei sang temenizo. Singing one. S own praises. Tooting one. S own horn. Er gu gao yao, futamatagoyaku, double dealer, timeserver. Feng lin huo shan fu, rin, ka, zan. Wind, woods, fire, mountain. Military proverb coming from Sun Tzu's. Art of War. See also Farinkazan. Korean examples The Korean equivalent are Sajazong eo. They have similar categorization to Japanese ones, such as Gosezongyo, Gu Shi Sheng Yu for historical idioms. A list, in Korean, can be found at Bulog, Sajazongyo. A list with English translations may be found at Structure of Four Character Idioms. See also Idiom Chinese characters Dictionaries of Mandarin Chinese idioms Herbert Allen Giles 1873. A Dictionary of Colloquial Idioms in the Mandarin Dialect. Shanghai, A. H. de Carvalho. p. 65. Retrieved 10 February 2012, Harvard University, digitized July 22, 2005. Herbert Allen Giles 1873. A Dictionary of Colloquial Idioms in the Mandarin Dialect. Shanghai, A. H. de Carvalho. p. 
p. 65, retrieved 10 February 2012, Harvard University, digitized March 4, 2009. References External links Mandarin Idioms Wiktionary Mandarin Proverbs Wiktionary Theme Idioms Shang Guan Shane Yu Shang Guan Shane Yu at Thinking Chinese